something that very few mentors understand to uh, launch different kind of courses for different grade levels and uh, 9 and 10 typically are linked to certain exams but, but some of these topics might be very nice like this oh remember there was a weekend batch so go to the link and uh, if you click on the link the coupon code gets automatically up hi everyone good evening jai hind i hope you're all well fine healthy safe so again, this is a very interesting program that we are going to launch. But again, before discussing about the program, I'm going to discuss the philosophy, the reasons we keep on launching these kind of programs for different grades. This one is for seventh and grade. And as the name suggests, uh, the, these are Olympiad classes or logic classes, we can say, the powerful puzzle classes, which are going to happen on Sundays. And what is the core philosophy? What are the problems that we are trying to solve? This is something that uh, I want to start with before giving you the details, right? So some of the main problems which are being faced in mathematics by the students across all boards, across all grades is math is being taught as a series of procedures and rules. They are already given the formula, they are already given the way to solve the, the particular problem. And again, they are asked to solve the same question again and again. This is not mathematics, I'm sorry. This is something which you've already told to the child. How is he applying his mind to solve a particular problem? The solution of which he already knows. This is not mathematics. Right? So, so math is taught as a very in, in a very different way and it's a very wrong way in most of the schools by most of the teachers in India. And that is why the level of mathematics in the current uh, generation is, is uh, on, on the decline. Rote learning, ratta, and, uh, you know, practice. Uh, is, is the way to remember the rules, right? So, so this is one of the most famous uh, things uh, said by the st students and the parents also. Ke practice karo, maths aajega. Sorry, practice karna se maths nahi aajega, dimag lagane se maths aajega. And again, that is something which a very few teachers understand. That is something that very few mentors understand. And this is something which has to be set right. Being good at math means getting good marks in school. Yes, if the child is getting good marks, he may or may not be good in mathematics. Please understand. There's a difference because if you're good in mathematics, right, and if you're scoring good marks in school, right, so let's say you scored 100 out of 100 or maybe 20 out of 20 in your school grades. See, please understand the questions which have been asked in your school game exams, they were already taught to you. There was nothing, no brain that you have applied. So if you're scoring good marks in school, that does not mean you're good in mathematics. Please, and that is something which is very different. There is something which I tell to all the students and teachers and parents also that calculations is very different from mathematics. A child may be very good in calculations, but he may be very good in mathematics. A child may be very bad in mathematics, but it can, he, he can be a very good in calculations. There are two different things, right? We are talking here about being good in mathematics and mathematics as per me is all about logic, all about problem solving skills. So if there's a problem which is new to you, can you solve that problem on your own? So this is what we call mathematics, applying uh, application of mathematics. There's no practical history or visibility which is given, which ultimately do, does not motivate a child. And ultimately, you know, uh, a lot of students fear mathematics. No stress on problem solving skills, one of the major issues, uh, right? So there's a new problem. So when the children come to us, join our courses, if we give them something which they've not seen before, most of the students say, sir, ye to ma ne karwaya nahi. this is something which is not taught by ma'am in schools, right? So, so this is something that we have to remove. And of course, last but not the least is the rationalization of the slay decreasing math slay in school. Uh, by some estimates, the amount of slay which is there in the current system in all boards is close to 30 to 40 percent of what it used to be 25 years back, right? So, so if you are a child who is watching this particular video, understand that in your parents' time, the, the amount of slay was close to, you know, 50%, 60-70% more than what you're studying in today's uh, time, right? So, so, so these are the various problems that we are trying to solve. And again, uh, again, we will uh, launch different kind of courses for different grade levels to sort this problem out. Even though our courses have Olympiads in the name, the, again, the main thing that we teach to the students is problem solving skills and improving logic. In fact, our course philosophy, if you talk about our course philosophy, is this. The most important thing that we focus on is building logic, building IQ. Because if we're able to do this, the first point, I don't need to do anything else. Right? So, so this is the core thing which, uh, you know, we, we promote. And uh, building logic, we give a lot of puzzles, we give a lot of thought problems to, to the students, which the students are able to, are supposed to do at their home. Uh, talk to their parents, work with their parents, with their teachers, with their schoolmates, come up with a creative solution and discussion happens, right? So this is the core thing that we follow. 
The second being the ideas and the discussion that happen in the class. We believe that if I put the best teacher of the country or maybe the world in front of the child, if the discussion is not happening, if there is a one-way teaching, the child is not able to learn. The child is not going to be able to learn anything. Right? So the most important thing which is important, uh, particularly in mathematics, is the discussions, the ideas which should be embraced uh, by, uh, by, by the students of other students and the teachers also. Right? So, so this is very important. And the third is time. Without spending a lot of time on the problems, you will never be able to. Right? So, so again, this is something which is quite anti-school in the sense that in schools, you already know the formula and they expect you to get better with every problem because you already know the problem. So this is not how it happens in real life. In all the good con contests, particularly math contests like IOQM or uh, maybe any good math Olympiad or maybe ITJ advanced mathematics, there are going to be new problems which are going to be given to you. You have to apply your mirroring to make your own formulas and again then try to do those problems. Right? So these are the most important three important things and then comes the content part. Then comes the contents, all examples and everything. Again, but the first three points are very important and which are very underrated. Again, our core philosophy is to to build these three points and if you are able to do that, uh, we, we are done. Now to do that, what we have done is, we have uh, divided the Olympiad journey or I, I would say logic journey of a child into different levels. Starting from level 3 to level 10, level 10 being the highest level. And uh, 9 and 10 typically are linked to certain exams, but particularly Olympiads which are conducted by Government of India. So they have restricted entries. But 3 to 7, they are open level. So 3 for grade 3rd and 4th, level 4 for grade 5th and 6th, level 5 for grade 7th and 8th. Level 6 for 9th and 10th, level 7, the students who have done grade 10, irrespective of what grade are they in. Right, so this is the, the typically the entry point. Again, the students who are, real, are ahead of the classes, again, uh, they are welcome to join uh, in any particular level. The good part here is, if you join a particular level, if you are very comfortable with the level, if you feel that the level is easy, you can always move up, uh, to the next level for free of cost. And uh, the similar way, if you have entered a level, if you think the level is on the difficult side, you can always go to the previous level. Right, so this is the kind of... Uh, uh, leeways that we give to our, our students, right? So, so in this particular video, we're talking about level five. So again, level five, uh, we've already started in uh, um, April. We launched a new batch in June, but again, there's a lot of demand for weekend batch because there are a lot of students who have a lot of activities, schools in in uh, in their uh, uh, you know weekdays. So level five weekend, that is particularly typically for the students of grade seven and eight, a lot of sixth graders who are good, they can also join this uh, particular uh, level. As I said, uh, the core three things are first three, right? So again, what are the skills that we can expect? Again, logical thinking is the topmost thing. Logical thinking, out of the box ideas, contest confidence, a lot of, lot of good contests, good math contests with students. Uh, you know, start giving at this particular level. NMTC is one, AMC 8 is another, then uh, Math Kangaroo is another, right? So these are top three contests that we normally ask our students to give. Uh, and uh, again, uh, all the things that we teach in this particular level, they are aimed uh, at building logic, but also, uh, you know, aiming at these three particular contests. Step-by-step uh, -step solving, fast and accurate math and better focus and, and, and maths. Habits that we build, we since it is a two-way communication course, uh, the, one of the core habits that we ask uh, students to build is ask questions. The why. Why should be the most important question of the student at this particular age. Explore, summarize, zing the ideas, sharing the knowledge and self-learning. And methods that we use, drawing, spotting patterns, uh, guess smartly, breaking it down, a problem to be broken down into easier portions, forming equations and simplification. Right. So these are the methods that we typically teach students teach students to uh, teach these particular topics. So number three, we teach LCM, HCF, again, not the normal school one, but the good one, which is not taught in school. Divisibility divisors, decimals, exponents, thirds, playing with numbers, diaphantine equation, algebra, identities, linear equation, one variable, formation system of equations, polynomials, quadratic equation, don't go by one and two, right? So, so this is for internal purpose. Sequence, arithmetic progression, arithmetic, Ratio proportion, profit loss, time and work, geometry, we start introducing geometry with pretty early because geometry is an indication of uh, uh, the creativity of the child, right? So angle chasing, content triangles, we introduce uh, triangular inequalities, construction. So some of these topics might be there in 9th and 10th. But again, we feel that students, good students across the globe are capable of doing these topics at this particular age. And a lot of them are doing that, right? So there's a contest called AMC8, which is conducted by government of uh, USA for the students who are in grade 8 or below, a lot of grade 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th students write the same exam. 
And um, so this particularly indicates, again, all the math levels across the globe write this particular exam. And in AMC 8, these topics are, are there. So that means the students who are good in mathematics, they are doing these topics across the globe. And uh, we end uh, this with combinatorics, which wherein we introduce the factorial, we introduce fundamental principles of counting. We don't get very deep into things like NCR and PR, which the universe are going to do in the next levels. But very basic counting, how to do, how to count, how to count consciously uh, in, in the day-to-day -day lives and um, then the number of divisors of a number, which students like a lot. Right, so these are the topics that we cover to, to again, I would say that to build logic, we use these topics, right? So it is just the other way around. We don't teach these topics. We have the prime objective is to build logic, to build problem solving skills. To do that, we use these topics and teach them to the students. Uh, so this OMM level five weekend batch, uh, this is a Sunday only batch. 42 classes, schedule is 2.30 to 4.30. So it's a two hour class. There is going to be a five, 10 minute break uh, after one hour, right? So, so of course it is not possible for the students to sit for two hours continuously. So we'll be giving a break in between, depending on what we are discussing. Uh, and of course there are going to be tests and other things which are going to be there. It is going to be taken by Ch uh, the Provincer and the price is uh, 10,000 rupees. The coupon code is ABMPRO. And it is going to start from 31st of May. So 31st of May, we are going to have orientation. We are going to do some amazing puzzles. Uh, the curriculum is going to start from the next Sunday. So 31st is the orientation and the link to join this is there in the description box. You can always uh, go to the link. And uh, if you click on the link, the coupon code gets automatically applied and you'll be able to join. Now, if you have any doubt, anything that you want to ask, right? So this is how, this is how the link uh, looks like, okay? So this is how the link looks like. So if you click on buy a course from the, uh, from the link, uh, the coupon code gets automatically applied and all the things related to the course are here. Now, if you have any other doubt, there's a Google form which is there in the description box. You can fill the Google form and our uh, representative, our, our, our team is going to get in touch with you and are going to resolve your routes. And if uh, there are any questions, you can also put the comments in the, in, in the, in the comment section. All right, so hope you've enjoyed this session and looking forward to uh, for all of you to join this particular batch and it is going to be a super amazing experience for each and every one of you. Take care. God bless you. Bye, everyone.